In today's style file, a feminine look at a man's favorite accessory, how to find a good flattering hat. Some moms wear this well, easy breezy, while still looking polished and pulled together. The rest of us end up looking like we either tried too hard or we resort to a go-to ponytail and just call it good. That changes today because we're coming at this from two sides, teaming up with Studio 5 Beauty and Style contributor Megan Moore and trend tracker Mindy Danyan to help us figure out hat hair and what to wear. We're so excited. This is a fun dynamic duo you've got going here. I know, we need to do this more often. Totally. So wearing a hat, it, I mean, it's supposed to be effortless. It's supposed to be easy. Sometimes that's easier said than done though, right? It is, and I think first off, it's hard just to find a good hat that you look good in. So really, finding a flattering hat is your first thing I to do. I struggle finding a hat that fits my big head. And I always <laughs> like to say, big in size, not attitude. But that can be a struggle <laughs> yes. for sure. And then the hair that goes underneath it. The point of wearing hats oftentimes is that we don't have to do our hair, but yet you don't want to look like you just rolled out of bed. Right, I think there's a lot of fun, quick hairstyles that you can pair with the hat. So if you had to take it off, you would still look presentable, but it enhances the hat too. So that's kind of fun. And still leaves us feeling feminine. Can I yeah. say that? When the hair is slicked back harshly, and I'm guilty of this myself on a Saturday morning, and the hat's on top, it's like, who are you? Yeah. Pretty much <laughs> is what we're asking. Okay, we recruited our Studio 5 staff. They're helping out today, sharing some common hat problems. And then we have two solutions. Mindy's shopped the flattering hats and Megan's stepping forward with the fun hairstyles. So we're gonna start with studio coordinator and producer Tiffany Woodmansey. Tip, mm -hmm. how do you normally sport a hat? What's your go-to? I normally just gather it into a ponytail and pull it through the back of my baseball cap. And every female in the room is nodding. Yeah, yeah we're all guilty of that. <laughs> okay, so I decided for Tiffany, since she likes to wear baseball caps, I went with kind of more of a traditional baseball cap. Okay. But this Patagonia hat, it's everywhere this summer. It's in all the people's Instagram posts. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. And I think it's because it is really a flattering hat. It kind of looks like a baseball cap meets a trucker hat. <clears throat> it is. So it's got a little lower profile than your basic trucker hat, which is why I like it. Because a lot of people do look really good in that trucker hat. But yeah. some of us, if you have a smaller head, a smaller face, it's hard to pull off. So I'm going to have Tiffany go with this Patagonia hat. You can get these at Dick's Sporting Goods. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at the um, Patagonia outlet right in Sugar House. Oh. So there's a lot of options and, and all different styles. It looks very shaped and tailored. I don't know if a hat can be yeah. tailored. Mm -hmm. but. And there's different sizes. There's men's and there's women's. And so really, like you said, some of us have different <laughs> size heads. Yeah. You really have to try these on to see which one works for you, but they really make one for everyone. Okay. Now, Megan, okay. she says she goes with a normally just a low pony. So what's the hairstyle we can step up? So I decided since her hair's short that instead of just doing a ponytail, sometimes it's fun to pull it to the side and do kind of two kind of messy buttons. Uh -huh. Now, I know that that sounds a little, you know, childish, I would say, but what I say is bring them back further on the back of the head. It grows it up a little bit more. So they're not right by the ears. They're pulled back a little further. Okay. I did a zigzag part in the back just to give it a little bit more, something that's not so perfect. And then when she puts the trucker hat on, it looks so cute because you can it, see them. so cute. On each side. Oh my gosh, stop it. So that cute, is so, right? so cute. And I left a little bit of hair down in the face just to keep it feminine. You said you feel when it's slicked yeah. back, you feel you like kind of masculine. Yeah. So a little bit of hair just right around the face is all you need. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That and I good. like that you Tiffany. pointed out the zigzag part too, because I also don't like when my scalp's just like Exposed. hanging open. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tiff, give us a camera five. Right, right here. Is that the one? Yeah! I think you look so cute! So cute, so cute. All right, Chelsea's up next. Chelsea, how do you usually wear a hat? I am super lazy and I usually just have my hair down. So I throw on a hat and it's like loose waves or like fifth day hair or something yeah. like that. And Which, that's what I rock. With your gorgeous hair, you oh. can kind of get away with that. Mindy, you're stepping up her hat style? Yes, okay. So for Chelsea, she does always wear a ball cap, but I wanted to kind of mix things up for her. So these hats over here are really your basic trucker hat. Uh -huh. But I love these because these are so feminine. These come from REB Designs. You can find them on Etsy. The patterns are cute. I know. She has really feminine, cute patterns. She'll custom make your own hat if you want. And I like these because they are that trucker style, so a little bit bigger on top, uh -huh. but they're not too big. Chelsea, like, would you wear this? Yeah, I <laughs> think so. This is different than my normal go-to, but I like it. And it looks change. so good on you. It's really flattering. All right, Chelsea, give us a smile on the camera five while Megan tells us about your hair. So since she's got long hair, I'd love to have a, something over the shoulder instead of in the back, because that's more traditional. You would see that all the time, but over the shoulder is really fun. This is cool. Isn't that cool? All yes. I did was put an elastic in and then separate that little section out like a fishtail flip it through itself, you know, you've seen like a uh, topsy tail, do you remember uh, that? Yes. Add another elastic and just keep going down. So it's fun to just give it some like, you know, bubble 
kind of that bubble effect. Uh -huh. So anyway, a braid, a twist, anything that's fun, and then just throw it over the shoulder. Children of the 80s are giggling because you just said topsy tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that took us back. Chelsea doesn't even know what that is. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And if we like these styles, there's actually a Studio 5 code for 20% off. Just use Studio 5 yeah, for really the promotion. Yep. Do you get the Studio 5 hat when you do that too? If you really want that one, it's available. <laughs> Who doesn't want that <laughs> yes, one? Yes, exactly. All right, am I up next? Yes. Okay, so Brooke, for you, I chose a fedora because you're so stylish. Oh, I'm so stylish. You have stylish. such a beautiful face that I think this will really complement it. Flattery gets you it. everywhere. <laughs> Thank know, you. Right? That's so kind. So this hat is really, again, a really popular one. If you're looking for a fedora, this is a Brixton brand hat. Okay. Um, you can get it online at Brixton.com. There are a few styles on Amazon. They're a little more pricey, but women who have these swear by them. Wear them every day, and I love this, this one. This is a little bigger than I would normally go for in a hat. And that's kind of what I like, that it has kind of the wider brim. I uh -huh. think that makes it even more flattering. Okay, Megan, how do I pull this off? Okay, so for you, I just, I just wanted to pull some of the hair back away from your face, because if it's right next to your face, sometimes it can feel closed off, right? Okay. So I brought some back, and if you want to turn around quickly, all I did was take these two pieces, and I literally tied them in a knot, and then just put two bobby pins to hold it. So it's just like, just to pull that back, so it's easy, again, if you had to take off your hat it would look nice and then you can put your hat on and might have to jam the sucker on this big head of mine <laughs> so but that way it's back that off of your cute. face and it's super cute you can wear it forward on your head or you can tip it back and wear it a little bit further back too really tip it back yeah a little bit further back like this almost and that oh. way you can see the bang coming through too oh. so that's kind of, that, that looks cute that's yeah kind of i really like yeah. it <laughs> yeah i kind of like this i like that the hairstyle feels secure right yes. like the hat's not going anywhere and the hairstyle underneath feels Absolutely. like i could take my hat off like you said and still roman yep. Roman feel confident. Yes. Mindy, your okay. turn. So mine, I picked out a visor. I play tennis, but even if you don't play tennis, for any workout, if you're going to be running, you're going to be outside, a visor is such a good way to go. But it's, again, hard to find a good flattering visor. And Megan, you play tennis too. I do. So you connect with this yes, idea. Yes, exactly. So my favorite visor is this Lululemon one. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's just super lightweight. It breathes on you. It's adjustable, so you can um, really fit it to anyone. And this one is my favorite style. It's just a little more stylish. Cute. And again, they're at most Lululemons. If you want a lighter color, they do have that in white. And you probably normally do a pony. Yes, I always just do a plain old ponytail. So Megan's helping me this mix it up a little bit. I really today. like it. Yeah, yeah, I love like the high bun. I just I don't know. There's something really feminine about that, right? Kind yeah, of a ballerina sure bun. Yeah. So paired with a visor is really cute because again, it's going to make it more feminine filling. Mm -hmm. So she can put her bangs back. And all we did with her bun is we slicked it up into a nice high ponytail, and I twisted the sections and did a braid, and then just wrapped it around. Put another elastic on, so it's super secure. I like it. And it, it. looks super cute it with like her visor. It shows off your serious cheekbones. Well, and it feels good to have all of your hair because sometimes I have that low bun with a visor and it gets it's really stuck to your yeah, 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 yeah. So Don't this be left out of the club. Okay, fine. Just join the party. <laughs> this do was it. so fun. Tiff, Chelsea, thank you. You guys, super fun. You make a good team. We Thanks. do. Let's do this again sometime, should we? Let's do it. All right, Megan, where can we get more style advice from you? Always at thebeautysnoop.com. Look for the link on our website as well as a shopping guide to all of these cute hats. I feel stylish and kind of like good. a cowboy, but more stylish <laughs> than a cowboy. Thanks so much. All right.